Hi, Melon here from Sonic Bloom with a new episode of the Abent Life Quick Tips. This time I thought we'd have a look at the new features for the return tracks. Features that a lot of users have been asking for for a long time. And now they're finally here. And those are that you can actually move them around, that they're not fixed in place. And you can do this in several ways. So for example, let's say the resonators I want to drag over to before the echo. I can do this and have a look here when I'm dragging it back. You can see the sense reflects the change as well. Another thing is we can simply duplicate a return track. So let's do command on Mac or control on Windows and D. And you can see that the track has been duplicated. And so, for example, I could just say like, OK, let's turn up the size and the decay and the rest I want unchanged. And now I can just set the send. So you can see here I had the send open for the return A on track three. And this is not copied or duplicated over. So if you wanted that on the same track, which generally you wouldn't, you'd have to set that again. And then the same is possible with copying and pasting. So command or control plus C to copy and then the same plus V. But funnily enough, what happens here is that you, you could see the, the send A that was open is now moved to B. So it seems like it switches to where it's copied in this case, just something to keep in mind. So right now, if I want to get rid of this again, I would have to delete the first one. So yeah, that's something you can do. Finally, I hope you find this useful. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll hopefully see you next time. Until then, bye.